So this video is pretty much going to be a quick uh, review and slash maybe opinion as well as to what I think about the Ortiz uh, triple gauge pod and maybe a little bit of a opinion as well on the uh, close shift gauges. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, so as I was saying, here is the Ortiz gauge pod. This is the triple one that replaces the radio um, unit. Now I went with this one because, as you all know, I'm going with the head display unit or whatever over here, touch screen that goes up here. I have that already, but um, I haven't bought the radio yet, so I'm leaving that for much later on. But here is a closer look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull this apart and take it out so you guys can take a closer look. All right, so I got everything out and here's a look at the back of the unit. Fortunately, I have some other wires already routed and this one you can't just unplug it for the back. So I'm gonna have to review it and take a look in here inside of the car with a little bit of lighting we have. So my only, I would say, negative about the piece is that I wish they put attention to the inside of the unit because it pretty much gives away, although, you know, a lot of us know how to make one of these. It doesn't take too much, but I wish they would also, you know, seal all this up in here in between. And made it look more you know consistent and not have any of this show but the piece did came out solid um, I would say the wait time on it actually kind of surprised me when I put the order in um, I thought they had these ready to go, but that's not the case. Once you put the order in, you get an email, you know, saying the process and how long it would take, which is approximately about four weeks, you know, give or take. And if you're kind of on a rush to try and finish your build and, uh, you know, waiting for this might be kind of a pain and yeah the unit doesn't look bad at all um i think it could have used a little bit more of a higher grit sanding because you can see it's kind of tiny bit porous but the unit does come out nice it goes in it is more sturdy than the regular one so when you go to install it in you might feel like it's not gonna go in but it will um, it'll go in and it'll fit nicely like that's where it goes right there no issues um, at the beginning I did get a little bit scared because the you know the gauge the gauges uh, did not want to go in. I did um, give them the exact measurements of them. And for a couple of minutes or a day or so, I thought they weren't going to go in. But if you realize, they make them to where it's pointing a little bit more towards the driver's side. So when I was trying to put them in, slide them on, they, I was doing it like kind of like straight up and down towards the back of it and forgot that 
the units, you know, the the gauge pot was, you know, they were all seated kind of side to the side, you know. So once I realized that and pushed them in, it is, it is a snug, tight fit, but they do go in here. So what I did over here, I put the oil pressure on PSI. In the middle, I did my wide band and then boost. So that's the inside of it. I'm going to go ahead and put everything back and show you guys the gauge is on and talk a little bit more about both units. All right, so everything's back on. Now, to the point, my true opinion. Is it worth it? I say, hell yeah. Especially if you're not in a rush to get things done and your car is gonna be sitting for a bit like mine was. I say it's definitely worth it. Looks nice. Like I said, I went with this one due to the fact that it kept much lower and you can kind of hide the boost gauges and all that all you know hide all of them and that way kind of keep it a sleeper instead of the pillar i may go with that one uh down the road i do love them but i said for a while let me just keep it more you know sleeper so i went with this one so yeah i would say they are worth it the only downside like i said is the waiting time because they don't have them ready to go and don't be surprised when they do email you and say you know there's a four weeks waiting time give or take the price um i would say it could be a little bit lower due to the waiting time like i said i wish they would pay attention to the back seal all that up make it look like a one whole solid smooth piece but other than that, it's a great piece and I will recommend it. Now on to the glow shift gauges. So far, and this is going to be a very small opinion on them because I haven't had them long enough and I'm not finished with the whole build completely 100%. So, and like I said, I do have oil pressure on, you'll see in just uh, a minute. I do have wide band on, but I need to calibrate it. And then boost gauge is not on. I have a uh, vacuum block and a few things to go ahead and install and uh, wire all that or whatever. And then I'll have that ready to go. And I guess that'll be it. But I'm going to go ahead and put it on the on position so that you guys can see it turning on for the first time. And there you go. Uh, I'm not sure why this one turned on in blue, but here it is. I just keep mine on red. There's the oil pressure wide band and boost and like I said they look awesome and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the car as well so you can see at least two of them in action there you go Wide band takes a couple of seconds for it to read because it has to warm up like every other. And then there's oil pressure and from what I've been learning, they start at a high pressure. Once they warm up, they'll lower. But there it goes. And everybody should know this by now, but you know, they offer several colors here is a blue or like a baby blue there's like a lime green a purple another blue a darker blue there's another darker green <clears throat>
and there's also some modes where they'll fade between all of them fast or slow I like mine's on the red color but and there you go and that's pretty much it Wide band usually takes a second or two to turn off right after. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. I told y'all it'll be a short one. Hope y'all like this review slash quick opinion of both items. And I'll see you on the next one.